This is a Game Caviar production. All right, Caviars and Caveats is not having it back in the Game Caviar studio with part two of my how to make it on YouTube, how to make it in the YouTube community. Uh, today, I'm going to be talking about uh, certain things like uh, having to play. You know what? Screw that. I'm just going to get into it. Look, one of the best things that I can tell people is that when you do your YouTube videos, um, make sure that you're still having fun. Okay, if it becomes to the point where it's a burden on your life to make a YouTube video, then it's probably time for you to step away from it. Okay, um, uh, there are ways you can monetize your videos and make money off of it, but um, do not make that your number one priority when making YouTube videos. If you want to start a YouTube channel and you want to make and you want to aspire to be a, a big name on YouTube to where you can have all this extra money from your videos and whatnot coming in, that's fine. But at the same time, it's not really realistic unless you get really, really, really huge. And I mean huge. Um, I do make a couple uh, dollars from the videos that I put up, but it's really not enough for me to quit my job. If I could get to the point where all I would have to do is make a YouTube video, that would be amazing. I want to give all of you a, a really good reality check. Um, do it because it's fun. Do it because it's something that you really enjoy doing. Do it because you've seen people make videos and you have the desire and the drive to do that. When I started my channel, I was I, I, I started watching a lot of videos and I, I was like, look, man, I can get into this. This is something that I think I could do and I have a great personality to do it. And um, I, I really had this this really strong desire to do it. So I did a lot of research and I and I got my uh, my Roxio game cap and I went from there. But it, it's never been a point where I'm like, man, I got to make another YouTube video. This is, you know, this is getting on my nerves. You know, it's more like an excitement instead of it being a burden. It's like, man, I haven't made a YouTube video in a couple of days. I need to get back on the ball. You know, when I was fixing my computer this past week and I wasn't able to make these videos, I was going crazy. I was like, look, I got to get this computer fixed because I have to start making videos. Uh, and, I, you know, I have schoolwork and other things, too, that I have to do on this computer. But um, along with the schoolwork, I, I mean, I had to make more YouTube videos. So please do not think that you're just going to start a, a, a channel and become some YouTube millionaire or, you know, you're going to make unbelievable amounts of money. Take small steps. Set a goal. You know, the, our current channel goal is a 1,000 a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, which is really, is, is really doable. We could do that. So set a goal. Do not expect to uh, become famous overnight. It's hard work, you know? And the next thing that I, that goes along with this is that you got to communicate. You got to get in there and you got to talk to people. Like if somebody, um, like if somebody makes a comment on your video, you respond to them, you know, uh, let people know that, Hey, please come talk to me. Let me know what you think, good or bad. And that goes along with what I was saying in the first video is that you got to have tough skin because not everybody's going to like your video. Some people are going to hate your video. Some people are going to hate you for stupid reasons. Uh, but you got to, you know, roll with the punches. So if, if you have people that subscribe to your channel and they talk to you, do not be one of those douchebags who just, who doesn't... Um, uh, interact with people who subscribe to that channel or or comment on that video. Interact with your fans. Uh, you know, uh, do things with them. Uh, you can have an open lobby. This is something that I wish I'd do more, but since I work at night, it's really weird for me to do that. Uh, but, I, I mean, just talk to them. Uh, I still have people that talk to me on, on PSN Network. If you send me a message, I will get back to you as soon as possible. And I enjoy doing that. I enjoy interacting with the caviars and the caveats out there because that's what I like to do. That's the reason why I have a channel. You know, I wouldn't have this much success on YouTube if it wasn't for you guys. So, why would I ignore you guys? Do not become... A douchebag and ignore the people who put you where you 
where, where you're at, whether you have 20 subs or 2 million subs or 2,000 subs. Now, I admit, the more subs you get, it's going to be harder for you to, uh, to respond to each and every one, but make a damn effort. There are a lot of YouTube commentators that are big and huge and have these big endorsements and a part of these big organizations who really obviously don't give a damn about the people who subscribe to their channel because you never see them interact with them. You know, you can tell whether they're interacting or not. It's just something that you can see when you're cruising through their channel and looking at the comments on their videos. But I'll make a third video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'm not having it, and I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.